So something very interesting happened uh, yesterday. Yesterday, with the increase in price of Bitcoin, how you know it, it recently went up past forty k, which is what we've been waiting for. Ethereum's, uh, I think, it's sitting at twenty seven hundred right now. With the increase in value for Bitcoin, uh, I've personally I've seen an increase in payouts from uh, Nice Hash. Nice, you know, I use Nice Hash to mine. I mine on three different cards. Though, if you're catching me for the first time on the channel, just to give you reference, I mine on a. Uh, I have a 1080. I was mining on a on a 1060. My 1060 is in a box right now, just because I can only use three cards on this on this CP. All right, on this uh, PC, CP. Uh, so I have a 1080, I have a 2070, and I have a 3060. The 3060 has LHR, and the 3060 is what we're talking about in this video. Uh, so with the increase in mining profitability that happened because Bitcoin went up, uh, as well as the implementation of uh, the London fork uh, for, uh, for Ethereum, and moving forward with EIP-1559, something very very interesting happened and why do i have this up right here well this is my 3060 that's mining right now currently because I, I use my 3060 uh to make videos and live stream and stuff like that so i i normally don't mine when i'm recording a video but i'm doing that right now just so i can show you what i'm mining and uh, let me go ahead and scroll up so if i scroll up it's gonna try to push it back down but if i scroll up here uh you can see my hash rate on this algorithm which is this nb miner um and it's mining kapow which is raven coin uh it's it's got a hash rate of 23 mega hash a second now whoops now that may seem really low but taking consideration uh how much nice hash is paying out for raven coin at the moment it, it actually is more than what I was mining before with my car, with my 3060, which was uh, Conflux. I was using the Octopus Miner, which mines Conflux. And at the moment that the, uh, before, you know, the, the payouts changed, Conflux was the most profitable thing to mine for me on the 3060. And all of a sudden yesterday, it switched. Meaning that Ravencoin right now if you have a 3060 LHR card, Ravencoin seems to be the most profitable thing to mine. Outside of Ergo, I know those of you guys are going to say, oh, what about Ergo? Listen, I'm not talking about Ergo right now. Just because Ergo, uh, the algorithm for Ergo, uh, what is it? Uh, Autolikos, Autolikos, whatever you, however it's pronounced. It's not fully implemented yet into NiceHash. Um, I use NiceHash just because it makes things easy for me. Because like I said, I have three different cards and mining on three different algorithms. And instead of having, you know, having it set, having all the mining sent into different wallets or whatever, I just have it through nice hash. That way it just gets sent into one wallet and I cash it out to my Coinbase. Uh, so anyways, Ergo is the most profitable right now outside of Ethereum. If you are able to mine Ethereum on a 3060 because you don't have an LHR 3060 or you don't have a version two, I should say of the 3060 and you have the version one, you can still use the dummy plug and the, and the other drivers and all that stuff. So if you are mining Ethereum with your 3060, this does not apply to you. Okay. Ergo is the most profitable thing currently to mine, uh, on the, on the 3060 if you have a LHR 3060 or version two LA uh, version two 3060 outside of Ergo though, Conflux was the next one, and Conflux was very close to mining profitability to Ergo. Like they were neck and neck, very close to it. And now it seems that Ravencoin has jumped up in profitability. Like I said, and it's actually very very interesting the way that things are working out because on top of that, my 2070 believe it or not my 2070 has switched over to uh to uh to mine ravencoin as well and that's why that's why to me it's very interesting the way that everything's going because my 2070 i have that set to mine uh if it wants to i have it set to to be able to mine um conflux i have it set to mine ethereum 
and all that stuff. Ethereum mining on my 20, uh, 2070 is like non-existent. That is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That is five down the list before it would even try to mine Ethereum as far as profitability goes. So right now, and it, there's a big jump between the two, between where what it's mining on, on uh, Ravencoin versus what it's mining on ethereum even conflux uh which was another one that that it was set to that it is set to mine there's a big jump between conflux and uh and raven coin right now for what it wants to mine so this is a very very interesting situation that we're in my 1080 is always going to mine ethereum it's mining ethereum right now that's the most profitable for it to mine uh because it's sitting at uh, 35 mega hash on ethereum with the eth largement pill uh, so that's just going to stay where that is. But to me, like it's the most important thing to just keep in mind is if you want to get the best out of your 3060, and this might apply to other LHR cards as well. I'm not sure if you have a 3080 or a 3070 LHR, please let me know down below in the comment section. I want to know what you're mining at and how, how it's going for you. What are you mining with the card? And if you, if you saw a switch like I did, how much of a difference is it making? Because it actually, for me, it jumped up quite a bit. Um, my mining profitability went from, uh, from an average with these three cards of, I think it was like $8.10 for, for the day, it jumped up to $8.60 for the day. And that's actually quite a quite a big jump. Um, now, there are still fluctuations that happen throughout the day. That's always going to be a thing. That's always going to happen. You're always going to see fluctuations. Uh, you'll see it jump up depending on how much trading is going on. You, you might see it jump up to like $15. I mean, me, I'll see it jump up to like $15 in the day and I'll, I'll see it go as low as maybe uh, six seventy in the day. So it, you're always going to see that fluctuation, but the average that I've seen it at currently now with the way the switch happened, it, it's sitting pretty at, uh, at a good solid, you know, 850 or more uh for my profitability this is this is great I'm, I'm loving it to be honest with you call me mcdonald's i'm loving it let me know down in the comment section what you guys think if you saw this change happen what cards are you using i want to know because we need to share information and also another thing to keep in mind too is the temperatures on the cards because they switch to these different algorithms the temperatures are running much much cooler and so that actually allows me to kind of crank up the power limit because one of the reasons why i had the power limit you know i set as low as i did was to keep the temperatures down because the lower power that you have going to your card the cooler the card is going to run so my uh, my 3060, when I was mining Conflux with that, I had my power limit set down to, I think it was 68%, uh, just to keep my temperatures under 60C. And now I was able to crank up the power limit. Uh, let me see, what do I have it set at right now? I have it set at 80 on the power limit. Now you guys might say, well, but that's not, you know, that's not as effective. And you're right, it's not as effective, but it allows me to have a higher hash rate to be able to uh, to make more profit. Uh, and even sitting at 80% limit, my temps, you can see right here, they're, say, they're staying around 60 to 62 uh, C at the moment. And it's hot in the garage right now. Uh, I opened the door to let the, the, um, the garage cool off. So that's going to lower the temps as well. But my 2070... And I know this is kind of a longer video, but I just I just wanted to mention this because this is really important. The 2070 was sitting at about uh, temperatures of 58 C when it was mining Conflux as well, and, and and Ethereum when it was mining Ethereum as well. And now with it mining Ravencoin, it's sitting at 54 C. And I actually cranked up the power limit as well on that. Uh, I cranked it up to 75 percent on the 27 no i'm sorry uh 70 percent on the 2070 so that's fantastic the lower the temps can be the happier i am because that adds to the longevity of these cards so i'm happy with that this is fantastic um, i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here so that way i can allow this thing to crank back up on the hash rate and kind of calm down uh because it doesn't like me like i said it doesn't like me to 
to mine and record or live stream at the same time. That's why I turn off the mining when I'm doing that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new. And like I said, let me know down in the comment section if you guys saw this switch because I want to know. Peace out. Happy mining.